Good morning. Uh, we thought we would be outside with a view of uh, the Minster behind us, the cathedral here in Southall, uh, on a bright sunny morning. It's uh, Tuesday the 21st of July. Um, and how the, the days and weeks seem to be galloping by at the moment. It's the last week of uh, school term for those who've got uh, children um, and uh, grandchildren in school, at least um, in this county. Um, and we, uh, we're very aware that, uh, and very thankful for all those in our schools who've just done an extraordinary job as, as staff and governors and others who did an amazing work over the last um, three or four months, kind of organizing those hubs within schools for children of key workers and then these past months getting children as many as they're able back safely into school for for uh, some education before the end of term uh, within the schools doing an amazing stuff with homeschooling as well so thank you mm -hmm. to all those teachers head teachers we we're praying that you'll have a really good uh, break um, over the mm -hmm. summer in the days to come uh, we're also concluding our uh, reading of the song of songs well the last chapter will actually be tomorrow but uh, our uh, readings in these videos, um, an Old Testament book that speaks about love and, and desire. And uh, we're coming to chapter seven this morning where things get even more intense. They do, <laughs> they do. And the whole of the Song of Songs, um, especially the one reading today and, and the final one, celebrate um, the dignity and mm. purity of, of intimacy in marriage. Um, and the Song of Songs is, is such a gift within scripture. Um, and it speaks of the intense feelings um, and desire and, and, the, and the, that doesn't only belong in the sort of realm of fierce temptation or perhaps unhealthy desire, but that it is something, it's something more of a pure gift of God yeah. in marriage. Um, and it's, it's very beautiful. Isn't it, is be it is beautiful. Yeah. And we, um, you'll realise, because the, the chapter seven, it, it almost goes up another level in terms of the intensity of, of the expression yeah. of desire. We had a bit of a discussion about who was going to read which verses, whether we would read the whole chapter. We are going to read the whole chapter. And we'll leave not you to spare our blushes. No, no, we're not sparing <laughs> blushes. We'll leave you to work out who who uh, won the discussion about which verses we would read. Uh, but we're going to uh, chapter seven. Um, if you want to follow it through um, in the Song of Songs, how beautiful your sandaled feet, O prince's daughter! Your graceful legs are like jewels, the work of an artist's hand. Your navel is a rounded goblet that never lacks blended wine. Your waist is a mound of wheat encircled by lilies. Your breasts are like two fawns, like twin fawns of a gazelle. Your neck is like an ivory tower. Your eyes are the pools of Heshbon by the gate of Bath Rabin. Your nose is like the Tower of Lebanon looking toward Damascus. Your head crowns you like Mount Carmel. Your hair is like royal tapestry. The king is held captive by its tresses. How beautiful you are and how pleasing, my love, with your delights. Your stature is like that of the palm and your breasts like clusters of fruit. I said I will climb the palm, palm tree, I will take hold of its fruit. May your breasts be like clusters of grapes on the vine the fragrance of your breath like apples and your mouth like the best wine. May the wine go straight to my beloved, flowing gently over lips and teeth. I belong to my beloved and his desire is for me. Come, my beloved, let's go to the countryside. Let us spend the night in the villages. Let us go early to the vineyards to see if the vines have budded, if the blossoms have opened and if the pomegranates are in bloom. There I will give you my love. The mandrakes send out their fragrance, and at our door is every delicacy, both new and old, that I have stored up for you, my beloved. Well, those are beautiful and, and intense words, um, and uh, you can well imagine how perhaps this reading was read from the earliest times, um, particularly on, on, on the occasion of a wedding. But um, one of the things that makes it distinct, and, and the Bible commentators point out that it's very distinct to other poetry, um, ancient poetry of that time. I mean, especially because there is nothing about the, uh, the there's no sort of hint of an aggressive male and, and no reluctance or, 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 or sense of, of, of a victimized female in this love poem. Um, it's a very um, equal thing and they are both um, as it were, taking the initiative, perhaps especially the woman. She's not reticent um, in taking that initiative and nearly twice as many verses come from her lips in this poem. Mm -hmm. um, so a, a real sense of, of the equality 
uh, of expression of love and, and of, of cleaving to one another in this poem in marriage. Mm. And of course, um, no marriage can claim to have perfected what, what we read mm. here, the picture of love here. Um, we're all broken human beings. Um, and, and married life is complex and, and points, points that are ragged and, mm. and sometimes a painful journey. Um, and, and, I, and just in marriage, the, the, the thing that brings the, the flourishing in marriage is the grace and truth yeah. um, that we need to bring into it, it needs to be the sort of bedrock. Um, of marriage really yeah and, and and the way in which the poem I mean for, for marriages of all stages and ages uh, it, where it encourages us to go on awakening that desire um, as a gift that, that mm -hmm. um, is given uh, for marriage and given by God but the desire which also points us towards God's love and desire for us because there's something right through this poem about, uh, about the way in which um, uh, it orientates our attention uh, towards the God who has given the gift of love, a uh, love as strong as death, as mm -hmm. the next chapter will will speak about. Um, uh, I think perhaps we also therefore should recognise that as Christian scripture, it, whether someone is married or single, whether they're uh, divorced or um, or widowed, um, mm -hmm. that we are all going to be participators in the most extraordinary marriage, in the marriage that will surpass all other marriages, the marriage of Christ with his bride, the church. And, and we can therefore bring ourselves, where, where marriage may be a very painful thing for some, we, we are able to bring ourselves towards, um, to God, knowing that his desire, mm -hmm. his love, surpasses the loves that may have been broken in life and um, where, where trust has been um, mm -hmm. broken in, in, in relationships. And, and just to know that God understands that, um, but he's also prepared each one of us to, to share um, in that moment where he will gather us together in union with him mm -hmm. and his desire is, is um, surpasses the intensity even of the desire in this poem. Mm -hmm. So um, we thought we would close therefore with a song so we're very grateful again to Joanne and uh, Neil for leading uh, a song in which uh, it, it is a prayer for the church, a prayer for the purity of the church, the bride of Christ, mm -hmm. prayer for our nation mm -hmm. um, that God will go on um, reviving our nation, faith in our nation. And so we're going to close with this prayer. Thank you again for joining us um, uh, this morning and may God bless you, whatever you're doing through today. Hear our cry, O King of Heaven, Jesus, hope to every heart. We are lost without your glory. We are lost. Without you, God, be the fire that burns within us, flames of love that purify. Send your power and your salvation. Let us see your kingdom come. Only you. Can move the mountains, only you can heal our land. Christ alone, our hope and glory. Christ alone, in you we stand. Turn our eyes and show us mercy. How we need your Father's love. Lead us home and out of darkness with your gospel burning bright. Only you can move the mountains, only you can heal our land. Christ alone, our hope and glory, Christ alone, in you we stand. Yeah.
Christ alone. 